All right, trail tips for Crookshank Canyon. This one's a bit of a longer one. It's about 20 and a half kilometers. Uh, with all my filming stuff, it's more like 22. It's over 22, but you shouldn't be more than 21 kilometers on this hike. There's numerous lakes all the way up. There's Battleship, Helen Mackenzie, Cruteau, Lady Lake, Beautiful Lake, Kwai Lake, um, and some other little ones along the way. So there's plenty of water even in the summertime. So you shouldn't really be packing too much water going up there. And um, it's an out and back. You can circle back and go um, Allen Brooks way on the way back, which is what I did, but you do actually have to go up quite a bit, half, three quarters of that mountain and then down if you're gonna do that route. It is a little more enjoyable. You know, if you're thinking about having all downhill or flat, you won't, <laughs> you'll be going uphill on that. Uh, you can do that going out, but then once again, you're gonna be going up a lot more elevation. So it just depends how much elevation you want in this uh, hike. There are numerous different uh, campsites you go through like uh, Kwai Lake where there's bathrooms there, there's bathrooms at uh, Battleship Lake as well, I, I believe. So there's numerous different places to go to the bathroom. I'd actually have to say the highlight of all this was probably Beautiful Lake and not even Crookshank Canyon itself. Crookshank Canyon's pretty nice, um, aside from like the huge patches of trees that have been logged, but Beautiful Lake is just amazing because you look around there and nothing, you can't see anything that's been logged. It's a beautiful lake as the name suggests, and it's just a really relaxing place to hang out. And um, so if you can kind of push and have your lunch there, uh, that's where I'd recommend having your lunch. Go to Crookshank Canyon and then kind of come back because Crookshank Canyon is actually incredibly windy, like insanely windy. With that said, or from my drone footage, which a bunch of people will probably crap on, you're allowed to film in BC parks with a drone if you fly from outside the park. Um, you're not allowed to take off or land in a park but you can fly in the park, which is regulated by Transport Canada. You can check out their, the Transport Canada aerial map. And um, there's a, it's, there's no no-fly zone there. Um, the no-fly zones are around airports in areas like water, water landing stuff or airplanes, stuff like that. I don't really enjoy putting this stuff in there because it does kind of promote a bit of drone usage, but people crap on me so much. I figure I'd take a uh, cue from Craig Adams. He ends up <laughs> putting this in his videos as well. So I'm gonna do the same. So a lot of people do this hike out and back. But as I mentioned, if you do the Allen Brooks way, you can stop off at Helen McKenzie Lake on the way back as well. So you can get one more lake in your circle trip. And you also have very little to almost no um, double, you know, repeat footage on your trip per se. Like you won't be seeing the same thing. So I don't know, something to think about. It's a really cool hike. It's a long hike and um, not too much elevation. So, you know, I think it works out to be about 700 meters, something like that. I mean, it depends if you throw Alan Brooks in there or not. Uh, if you take that out and it's less or whatever, but anyways, it's a great hike. Why don't you check it out? Be sure to subscribe here to the channel and until the next episode, have a great one.